Hello everyone, and welcome to today's episode of Casual Couch Gaming, with your host, Magnus Tsunami. And for today's episode, we'll be playing Monopoly on the Nintendo Wii. I hope you enjoy. So, as the camera pans around the game board, it seems now the players must roll to see what order they play in. Now, Monopoly is normally a board game that people would play in their lounge rooms, and I'm sure there have been many, many family feuds that have been fought over this wonderful design of a game. I'm sure this has caused many a family fights. However, let's see what will happen here with the players today. Player three won the roll. And it seems and play. player three like has won game. the roll Time to start the, the game. So he has now rolled a five and a six, which is 11. Moving around the board as the Mr. Monopoly guy chases after him. Buying up the properties. The deeds are in your name now. What will happen next? It is now player four's turn. The player four has now rolled a five. Where he, will he land? Ooh, he's landed on the train station. King Cross Station by the looks of it. Yeah, I gotta admit, this Monopoly guy looks rather funny running around the board with his cane. I don't know what it is about this game, it's quite hilarious, um, watching it on a console. Oh, you've landed on chance. oh, and player one has landed on chance. He's gone straight to goal. Uh, straight to goal, straight to go, and gone straight around the board. And the Monopoly guy just stayed at go, surprisingly. I thought he was actually going to follow him. So that's the first turn over. It is now the second turn. Player two has now rolled an eight. Where will he land? Ooh, he's landed on what seems to be Estuan Road. So the properties are being bought quite quickly. Monopoly can be a very fierce game. Let's see how this game shall turn out. And the properties are being snatched up left, right and centre as the Monopoly guy just stands there blankly. I love his commentary how it's like, it's all yours and you've bought this property. He looks quite squanky with a top hat, monocle and cane. The electric company has now been purchased. And now it is player one's turn. In case you weren't wondering, yes, Magnus Tsunami, myself, I am player one. So I'm actually going up against three computers here. It's up to you. Buy or auction. Yeah, I definitely want to buy this one. I didn't well, want to go to auction. <laughs> Although the auction options in this game are quite interesting. Uh, you will see a couple of coming in this uh, episode, which uh, is quite interesting, honestly. It's actually completely different from playing the board game itself in real life. I'm surprised at how well the animation was done in this game, honestly. Ooh. And now it is player 3's turn. Buying up another property, he's now picked up Trafalgar Square. The deeds are in your name. What a great investment! <laughs> I just love the I love the Monopoly dude's voice. I don't know why. It's uh, if I had somebody to comment my channel or comment me, I'd love to hear the person or the voice actor behind that commentate, like do a live commentary on me. I'd love to hear that. So now it's my turn again. Let's see what I roll. I roll a seven. What do I land on here? Let's have a look, shall we, guys? Ooh, what do you say? I buy I Bow watch. Street. Yep, definitely gonna buy that up. I'll show them. <laughs> well done. Uh, next turn. Alrighty, uh, back to the computer. It just sucks that in between uh, the turns you have to wait for the computer. You can't actually skip the animation for them buying properties and rolling the dice. You have to wait patiently. I guess it's no different from the real one. Let's oh, here happens. comes an auction. Oh, and we have 10. Do we hear 20? 20. Do we hear 30? Do we hear 40? 40? 40? 50? Do we hear 60? Oh, 60's raised. 70. Do we hear 80? 80 has been raised. Now 90. 90. Do we hear 100? Oh, at 100. 120 has now been raised. 140. 160. 180. 200. 
Do we hear a highest bidder? Will somebody else bid on the property? Ooh. Going once. Going twice. And it's sold. Beautiful. Just like that, I got the property cheaper than what the computer players would have. <laughs> and that's how the game goes. You don't always have to buy the property. You can actually have it go up for auction and actually end up making your com opponents pay for the property higher than what it's actually valued at. That's one way of easily bankrupting your opponents. It's a really sneaky and cheeky tactic. And I guess that way you could be sort of like conniving in Monopoly and bankrupt somebody really early in the game. But, you know, it's a good little relaxing game, surprisingly for um, a Nintendo Wii game. And there's different game board modes. I'm playing the classic game board here. And as you play more and you unlock um, or buy more properties... Ooh, what happened? So I've, I was elected the chairman of the board and I had to pay each player 50 uh, Monopoly dollars. Well, that sucks. Oh, <laughs> uh, well. And I guess that's the beauty of chance. You never know what will happen. Um, the music in the background is pretty... pretty... Um, bopping. It's pretty chill. You know? But that, uh, that should be pretty... You know, like... Uh, there's not much to the Monopoly game. It's pretty straightforward. You know, maybe if you if you don't feel like destroying the actual game board or worrying about being cheated by a dodgy banker, you could play the console version if you have four players, which is uh, another way of playing it. Just uh, don't go throwing Nintendo Wii motes at the screen, please. We don't want those Nintendo Wii motes destroyed. So let's see how we're going. It seems quite a few of the properties have been bought out now. Have they landed on the water? So, player 4 has now both amenities. He has electricity and water. Ah, oh, seems player 4 is doing really well, but he's got the lowest amount of cash compared to everyone else. But if you look at the board, green seems to have the most amount of property, surprisingly. Oops, I've landed on his... on the computer's... on the computer's property here. Ah, oh, nuts. I had to pay him... I had to pay him rent. Just like in real life, you have to pay your bills. No escaping that, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, I guess, you know, Monopoly teaches you something about real life. You have to pay what you owe. Ooh, community chest. Community chest time. I don't have any stocks, but yet I got 50 mil out of my stocks. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, man. This game is nuts. You never know what could happen. You can end up being rich or bankrupt in no time at all. Now it's player two's uh, turn. Let's see where he will land. Ooh, another one Could for auction. Interesting. Let's see how this auction goes now, shall we? Alrighty, 20. Do we hear 30? 30. 30's raised. 40, 50, 60. And blue, 70. Green bids 80. Blue bids 90. Green bids 100. Blue bids 120. Green bids 140. Blue bids 160. Red bids 180. Blue bids 200. Red blue bids... Oh man, these bids are going in so fast. Blue has the final bid of 300. Will he be beaten here, ladies and gentlemen? Going once. Going twice. And sold. Beautiful. I bought it, even though it was the same price as normal. I'm not letting the computers get that one. Haha. <laughs> I love being a property shark. Get them properties before the computer players can. So now it's the ironing board's turn. Now, honestly, whoever plays as an ironing board, who wants to be? On another player's property. <laughs> he has to pay rent. Sucked in. And a three is rolled. Not a very high number. <laughs> he pays me rent. Sucked in. That's now it's my turn. What do I roll here? I roll a seven. Ooh, I advanced. Go another four hundred dollars from me. Four hundred monopoly dollars. That is. Yay, payday. Who doesn't like payday, honestly? But uh, <laughs> sometimes in real life, when you get paid, you spend it so quick, it's not funny. It's just uh, really bad at how fast the money money comes in, money comes out. The deeds are in your name. Okay, let's see what happens investment. here. Okay, now it's player 3's turn. All of the properties are slowly being bought up on the board. Ironing board's turn. And he's landed on the orange spot he's 
landed on his own property so he doesn't have to pay rent. As players four turn, he rolls a six. I just love the way that the Monopoly dude runs. It's quite hilarious. Ooh. Player four has bought one of the most expensive uh, lots on the board. Ooh, so I roll... Ooh, I've rolled an eight. Two fours. Now, I'm not going to spoil it for what happens here. I ended up landing on red space. So I get another roll here. Okay, so here's my second roll. Ooh, and at 12. Well done, Magnus. Two doubles in a row. I don't like the outcome of this. Free parking. Yay, I don't have to do anything. Okay. And here comes the interesting part. Three doubles in a row. Three doubles in a row. Yep. We're obviously up to something. Shifty time Shifty to Magnus time. is now in jail. And that concludes today's episode. Thanks for watching. Magnus. Tsunami. Go!